Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. Today we're going to be discussing about the three fundamental phases of inbound marketing. So continuing from the last video, if you haven't watched it, I would strongly recommend that you go over the first two videos of this session about digital marketing. First one introduces to you about the fundamentals of digital marketing. Second video orients you about inbound marketing and we are continuing down the line with this orientation of inbound marketing with the three phases of inbound marketing in this session, which is very important for any marketing whatsoever, B2B, B2B, B2C, for your product, for your mobile app, for your website, for your content, the whole nine yards. So let's begin. So as you can see right in front of you, three phases are attract your audience, convert them to leads, nurture leads to sales. So we're going to start off by looking at how you can attract your audience or how it has been done before and how it is being done now. So there are a lot of ways wherein you can attract or reach your audience. So predominantly before the advent of the internet, before inbound marketing kicked in, there were two, there were outbound marketing, right? So, and then there was inbound marketing, which we are all raving about now, right? Outbound marketing was buying attention when you queued interest of your consumers maybe through flyers maybe through brochures and what huh? you did cold calling but in back in the day you used to uh, receive phone calls from many people trying to sell you insurance trying to sell you uh, uh, computers and whatnot now we don't right so we get spam mail <laughs> similar to that and then there are direct paper mail, there's radio ads, there's TV advertisements, sales flyers, and telemarketing. And then last came events and spam, when they used to put up stalls next to a mall or something, trying to sell you stuff, right? Those are all outbound marketing, right? In the new era, which we are living, every, like practically living online, the inbound marketing can be carried out through blogging when you advocate or you influence or you create awareness about the product. Yeah. And then you run ads through search engine optimization so that your website ranks higher up there. You generate email opt-ins so that your core audience can receive email you create communications and communities on social media so that you can build a huge loyalty base and you do content marketing using your newsletters using your white papers using your videos using webinars so on and so forth in this session we're going to explore how inbound marketing works through live examples through some practices through some exceptional practices on how we can use blogging search engine optimization search engine marketing so on and so forth to effectively market your product so i would strongly recommend that you pause this video at this point of time and you make a note of the inbound marketing which i have listed out here yeah and keep it aside so that when we review through uh, live examples, we can see how it works, how it uh, evolves, how we, people are engaging audiences, so on and so forth. So moving on. First and foremost, your listed down practices, blogs, SEO, SEM, and all those things. The first thing after you develop your web property would be to think on how we can utilize all of these things to 
generate the inbound traffic? The answer is engagement methods. Just pause for a moment and repeat engagement magnets after me. As the name clearly says, you have to create magnets on your website so that it helps your audience come and land on your website. So we're going to look at an example through this company called Gen Y, which has instigated a few engagement magnets. So you open up genmy.com you would go on their website you see that it's up to date with the new iphone 6 and all those things first the, your eyes directly goes to the phone nowhere else you see the logo and left of it it says content engagement for the customer journey right if i was in this company's position i would have added an actual thumbnail of the video so that you your eye actually goes there because they've added a video learn more and a demo tab you basically are drawn to the picture right so the engagement magnet here is video learn more and demo wherein it reiterates to you what gen y is trying to sell to you or be it any company whatsoever right so that is called an engagement magnet Right. If you go on to, let's say, a website called HubSpot, which I strongly recommend for you to review content, for you to uh, look at case studies and whatnot, you go into HubSpot. Let's wait till it loads up. <laughs> That's awkward. So let's look at how Gen Y actually is. So you go to Gen Y and you scroll down after you, well, if they had the thumbnail, you would actually go there. Since they don't, you scroll down to see what the fuss is all about. It has a text on what they do. Hello, from the initial hello to sharing valuable content. Gen Y innovates, makes it easy to package right content, interacted and branded, mobile, tablet, and this. So, as a consumer, I didn't understand any of those things. Yeah, so this is your engagement mind. Anything on your website is an engagement mind. Your eyes is drawn directly to the customers that they are working with more than the text that they have put up, right? That's a bad practice for inbound marketing. You don't want to mess that up. You don't want to give them a story. You want to get to the point because nobody has the time to read your story wherein it sort of is confusing for anyone. Maybe they're losing out a lot of traffic because of that, yeah? And you see IBM, CA, Tesla, Dalit, Amazon, American Express, Hollywood Reporter, and all those guys, big guys, working with you, right? And then you scroll down. So it says, enable your sales team and prospects with what they need now, the right content delivery across any device. So now you sort of get an understanding of, oh, okay, this is like a content depository ERP system where you have content which can be flow charted and then you can push it out to people representatives and whatnot where you can pull it out continuously maybe I don't have time to read any of those things because we don't have time so you go down and you see streamline access package and share track interaction integrates easily oh looks good if you're in the market for something like this we're in a huge line of people, marketing line, marketing group of people, a lot of sales people and want to uh, help them out with content, at the click of a, uh, on a website, then yeah, this is for it. And then you scroll down, you're immediately drawn to the Gen Y overview. If you're a consumer, you click here. But the inbound practice should be that this engagement magnet here should have been here because you are losing out on customer. Let's say I'm in the market. If you have going to waste so much time, I'm going to look at another website. Look at another vendor, right? Let's look at the uh, magnets in HubSpot. So we open up HubSpot. The engagement magnets is they have inbound 2015. Lucky us. And then it says author of modern romance. 
Aziz Ansari, you're immediately drawn to his name, to his photograph, to the words inbound, and then the learn more button is sort of like in your face, right? And you click on that. It takes you to your different website and shows you what is what and what is what is happening. So Aziz Ansari is gonna come and talk to you about stuff, blah blah blah, and you have a service for a discount, you click on this, you can register yourself. Scroll down, these are all engagement magazines. They're trying to sell you a software, HubSpot as a software for inbound marketing and sales software. It's quite obvious. See the difference from Gen Y to HubSpot? Bang on target, right? This is the best practice for customer for engagement magazines. So, if there's a funnel, you can clearly see what it all can do. You can manage your landing pages, email, call to action, CMS, social, SEO, analytics. CRM the whole nine yards and then a neat little diagram wherein it showcases the world's number one marketing platform, sales platform all combined together, drives growth at any scale and showcases a few guys. These are all videos and case studies, right? So they're all companies, Yo is a company, uh, TUI Travel, Abbey, Shortail and all of these people who are actually using it. So you have your advocacy, you have your reviews, you have your white papers here, you have everything. This website, this landing page is like the best testament on how you can design an amazing website to drive your traffic with perfect engagement magnets. So pause at this point of time and write down what do you think is happening between the two between gen y and hubspot look at this look at a neat little pop-up do you use inbound marketing companies using inbound marketing well, this is this is all your engagement magnets coming out after i've spent a considerable amount of time we were here for like 20 seconds 30 seconds then it came out would you like to answer it maybe no no we close it right so all of this are the engagement magnets so make a note or leave a comment below stating why and what is the main difference between Gen Y's engagement magnets which they use and HubSpot's and what is it doing? What is the one terminology which they're doing which is helping them, which is helping HubSpot sell more, right? This is a key thing for any website. If you have content, if you're trying to sell you should do it in a very meticulous way so that you don't lose the point of interest of the personnel who's already on a website. So I land on the website, they have an event going on. Boom, you scroll down, you have software information regarding it, who's using it, you click on the video, nobody has the time, you click on more case studies, what awards they've won, who are all using it, done, right? You're convinced then and there, all right? So leave a comment below on what and then repause this video to know the answer. So let's go back to our presentation. So I've shown you how engagement magnets work. So engagement magnets effectively reduces friction. So there's a lot of friction when I open Gen Y. Yeah? We open Gen Y, they're like, what is happening? In the initial first landing page, we had a slide with an iPhone with text going on and I read a text which said help in exclamation that's all that i remember right other than that you can know when you scroll down it said you content sales team okay well, how do i do it there's no explanation to it what give me a flow chart and what it can all do and there's a list of companies who are using it why are they using it there's no case study there's nothing that's a bad way so it's causing a lot of friction in the mind of a consumer to comprehend to assimilate his needs to your need or to the company who's trying to sell you the product yeah so that is why having an effective engagement magnet on your website is key for anything and everything so next up in the phase is you have created, you have attracted the audience, you have created engagement magnets. So now 
you to convert them into leads right to convert them into leads you can use all of these particulars in the inbound marketing section be it blogging search engine optimization marketing through search engine emailers social media so on and so forth or you can do something innovative so that you catch their attention so one of the examples was uh, that I wanted to showcase was EMC squares 49 they I think they uh, were celebrating 10 years or 15 years I don't remember but there was there was this important event important date for EMC square for a company and I wanted to showcase it with a big bang so they lined up all of their 41 events, 41 uh, products outside their office and they said we're going to break the record. It was not even related to what they do, EMC Square. Yeah. So they bought a Mini Cooper. So they filled the car with as many people as they can and they broke the record for the number of people in a car. And that, I'm sure you would have seen that video. Um, right, let's have a look. Let's see uh, if we can uh, find that video. Yeah. Let's go to youtube.com. Let's go to EMC square car uh, mini record. So yeah, it's here. Four years ago, 26 people in a Mini Cooper. So this is this exercise which they did is nowhere related to what EMC Square actually does. Yeah. But what they did resulted in 700,000 plus views. 40 plus posts on influential bloggers, 1,500 plus retweets about the whole event. What happened here? It brought about a branding perspective. It announced the world that EMC Square is existing. So, and it brought a lot of traffic onto their website. It brought a lot of, uh, it provided them content it provided them a lot of information regarding what EMC Square said maybe it generated a lot of leads but this is one of the exercises which can be done right another example on how you convert them to leads would be to showcase your sales which is going on another example of a retailer would be jabong.com it's an indian uh, fashion uh, website and you see all of these ads of sales going on in many different e-commerce portals similar to jabong wherein they are announcing that they have 30 percent off 30 percent off 50 percent off so on and so forth these are all engagement magnets right the moment you hear that there's a 70% off, you click on the thing and you go to the website and you either you buy it or you contemplate on buying it. Maybe you are in the market for a sunglass, maybe you're not, but it's 70% off. You don't want to miss out on the deal. Those are all engagement magnets. And then if you have a landing page as good as your HubSpot, Converting that lead through the engagement magnets, which is here into an actual lead is pretty easy, right? If you have a landing page like Genwai and you're running a lot of ads like Jabong with sales and all those things and you come onto the website and you look at this and you're like, what in the world is happening, right? There's a difference. There's a friction in what you want to see and what is already in existence. Right. So assuming that the uh, personnel has come onto your website, you've done, uh, you've influenced your audience through uh, by alluring them to 
your by ads, by blogs, by reviews and whatnot. And they've already made the purchase. Now is they've already converted your uh, them. You already converted them as a lead. Uh, let's say uh, by going on clicking onto the website where you're selling a product, then you have to make them purchase the product, right? So there, that is where. Let's go to Jabong example as we are going to look at Jabong anyway. So we are in Jabong and you are already here and you clicked on that, you come here, let's say I clicked on this ad which is showing a search, you clicked on this anyone, you have to nurture the lead into an actual conversion. The moment you step in, the conversion manual. Wonderful place for style and fashion, sign up, Jabong newsletter and get shopping vouchers worth Rupees 2500. Who must have that? So I'm going to register blah 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 at gmail.com and they're going to send me a verification. I'm going to say, oh, man, and done. That's a fake email, but because you know, you know, so you can dish out your email and they're going to send you a newsletter and you can avail your discount. I'm not in the market to buy anything, this is just an express, so we didn't do that. Okay, so you are here. So you see that there's oh my god the 50% off on this t-shirt, there's 30% off on this cute top, you click on this and then you look at all the photos, look at the size, you buy it because it says 30%, it's from Brick Brand, Karen, it looks pretty, the whole nine yards. And then added to that you have the 2500 rupees discount. Right, so you would purchase for 2500 rupees, wouldn't you? Because you already have a coupon. If you have that's the engagement magnet which we are talking about, it nurtures it, makes you buy, it nurtures your lead, and converts that into a, an excellent example for how three phases of inbound marketing works. Is this just pause for a moment? And then just rethink the whole cycle. Let's go to our whiteboard here. Yeah. So we saw this. This is the digital marketing framework. And we started off by clicking on an ad or a blog article or a sponsored content. Yeah. And then we were directed to a landing page. Yeah, and then that directed us to a pop up, which was the engagement magnet, second engagement magnet, I swear that. Yeah with an offer of 2500 rupees off first one was the ad which we traded that there was a 70 percent off on sunglass i came in after i clicked the sunglass came here i got to know that i can get 25 percent off i mean 2500 rupees off who wouldn't want to buy stuff now right then because you gave them 2500 rupees voucher off the sale happened. So this is how basically the three phases of inbound marketing right in front of your eyes. To ascertain again, three phases of inbound marketing are attracting your audience, converting them to leads, nurturing them the leads into sales. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. Until the next video, wherein we explore and go deep into inbound marketing. Have an excellent, excellent day. Goodbye.